tương ức tỏi à. yeah. mm. Cà phê Cà... đen không được I think it doesn't fit in this hole Tell you what, it smells delicious <cười> The spice Ah yeah, it's running away mm. Mm. Don't forget to thumb Thumb, thumb. <cười> This video <cười> Xin chào các bạn Welcome back to my bed I'm so excited for today's video because we're going to be testing out viral Vietnamese recipes. That's right, we're bringing it to the home country. This first recipe is a shortcut way to making delicious pho. Everyone knows pho, right? I shredded the chicken off the bones, add all the bones into a big pot. You need pho spices. We have to toast our spices on a dry skillet. You want to toast this until you start to see some color and it's aromatic. Add this in here. We're gonna add in our roasted onion. You can do this in an air fryer or an open fire. Roasted ginger, water, another one. Fish sauce, rock sugar about the size of a golf ball, and chicken bouillon. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once this is boiling, reduce your heat and simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, our broth is going to look something like this. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt. I'm adding my chicken that I shredded off that carcass. Onions because I'm gonna kiss my husband later. Cilantro because it doesn't taste like soap to me. And scallion because I'm kissing my husband more than once. Some sriracha and hoisin sauce. The queens of chaos are back. Is <laughs> our crown. <laughs> Queen of kitchen chaos. <laughs> that was like one of my favorite comments. I pinned it in my last video. Pho. It is not pho, it is pho. I was like, what the pho? I have my chicken carcass here. It's just like a small bowl of bones. Alfred did such a good job of taking the meat off the bone. And I saw this and I was like, where's the chicken carcass? And he's like, that's it. So that's it. We're gonna put it in a pot. Looks very pitiful. In the air fryer, I roasted an onion and some garlic slice, garlic, some ginger slices. Add that in. My ginger slices are so shrivelly. This pot is looking like trash at the moment. I have my spices in the pan. So when you make chicken pho, you need star anise, cinnamon stick, coriander seeds, cloves, and fennel seeds. I didn't, I couldn't find fennel seeds, so we're just gonna have to do without, but those are the main spices. So we're just gonna toast these until it's a little bit more fragrant. Okay, I think that's quite fragrant. I couldn't find like the big soup bag, so I got the next best thing, the tea bag, so I'm gonna use two. Hopefully it will fit. My cinnamon sticks aren't gonna fit, so I'm just gonna pop them in the pot. They're easy to take out after anyway. For extra security, in another bag. My spice bag goes in. I'm gonna add in water, hot water, cause I wanna speed things up. Add in some fish sauce. Have rock sugar. Mine are like little pebbles compared to her golf ball one, so I've got to add a couple of them in. It's gonna add in like four little pebbles. Add in some chicken powder. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, that's more like it. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Shouldn't take long. Oh, she boiling. Let it simmer for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Our broth looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste test. It's gonna be so hot. Oh, it's lacking. She lacking. Salt. Salt. A little bit more fish sauce. It doesn't have that sweetness I'm looking for. I'm gonna add in like that many more. Half a teaspoon of salt and a bit more chicken powder. Better? Better. Better. Probably like another five minutes. Okay. When I'm here, it feels dark, but when I'm here, it's too light. Like, <laughs> can't win. Anyways, ready to make our bowl of pho. I have the noodles here. Add in some shredded chicken. That's just Lila's speaking of onion here, sliced onions. I actually added a little bit of vinegar and salt to this. Kind of like pickle it a little bit. That's how I like to eat it. Coriander and spring onions. And I'm adding some blanch bean, bean sprouts. Bean sprouts, what are bean sprouts? Bean, bean sprouts. Can't speak today. Bean sprout, you little sprout. Add in the broth. Ooh. 
not really the real sriracha, don't even judge me guys. Is tung up thai. Ran out of sriracha. Oh, you always sound like 10 times louder when you speak Vietnamese than it's English. It's just Vietnamese, man. Every time Zen hears me speak Vietnamese, she's like, are you fighting? Are you angry? Like, why are you guys so like what? violent when you speak? It's just the Vietnamese way. Every time I hear you talk, I'm like, oh, is she in a bad like, mood? English, I'm like screaming? so pleasant. And then it's like tung up thai. It's like, you know, you got, you got to have that energy. Are we just gonna share this bowl and then we'll make more? Bowl. Should we just have a bowl each? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Who's gonna why, share a bowl of pho? Why are we contemplating Why? I have a whole pot here. Okay, let's quickly assemble the other bowls. By the way guys, my thumb is healing well. <gasps> yes! Wait, have a look at it. It's just like very red and like puffed up, but at least I have meat back there. The meat grew back. Wow, we look like some Vietnamese restaurant. This is like some like Nha Hang Vietnam. Nha Hang. Nha Hang Vietnam. I'm gonna sriracha everything. It's not even sriracha. It's tung ok thai. It's very messy, but this what is if? what it looks like. We're also crouched today. Let's go. You gotta get a spoon of the broth. I don't have a spoon. It's pretty good, it's pretty but good. I reckon oh, it just needs some dung dang, some hoisin. Mix that in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was a little bit worried when I tasted the broth, like it didn't feel complete, but now that I have everything in my bowl, it's just like a Vietnamese party in my mouth. This is a good way to make pho. It's like a shortcut way. I'm actually impressed. It didn't take that long. Usually it takes a lot longer. Lai Lai Yon, try pho. Yes. Yep. Guys, you need to try this recipe out. It's very comforting, it's hearty, it's delicious. And I have never met anyone that doesn't like fur. So please try it out yourself and your taste buds will be tingling. Double thumbs, double thumbs, okay. Line of double thumbs. Hands up. Yeah. <laughs> hands up. Lila doesn't know how to do thumbs up, so we'll do double hands up. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I love Vietnamese coffee, but this one has an interesting twist. This is a Vietnamese egg coffee called Cafe Jung, and I can see why it's so popular in Vietnam. You need to start with Vietnamese coffee. Using Vietnamese Robusta beans together with a thin filter gives you that unique, deep, and bold coffee flavor that pairs perfectly with the next ingredient, that creamy egg foam. For this, all you need is an egg yolk and a whole lot of condensed milk. Then, you gotta keep blending it until it forms a nice, thick, and creamy foam. Gently pour it on top of your fresh Freshly brewed Vietnamese coffee, and you can also top it off with some cocoa powder. Now go try it out. Coffee with egg. I remember ordering this once, and I don't remember it tasting like egg. In fact, I thought it was quite delicious. So, hopefully, we can make it the same. I got my little fin here. You need to use Vietnamese coffee, like they said in the video. This is cà phê trung nguyên sáng tạo. So nam number five. They have different like numbers, I think, to represent the strength or the flavor. How am I gonna put subtitles on this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put like a large spoon. I guess it depends on how strong you want these. We're doing two. Zen wants a cold one, an ice one, so we're doing a hot and a cold. Then you put this thing in, press it. Press it, pop a little bit of hot water, just a little bit first, and then you can fill it up. Yo, yo. that aside, let that drip. I'm gonna crack two eggs, separate the, the whites. You guys may be looking at my nails and be thinking, how come she's only got one hand? Yeah, I filmed a video and I only did one hand because I can't function as a mum with both hands done. Good okay. atama. <laughs> Good atama. Okay, got my condensed milk. Gonna pour some in. Zen has requested it not so sweet. Đừng có làm ngọt quá. Now I'm gonna whisk it. It's very yellow still. Ours still looks very much like egg. These one looks more like just condensed milk. By the time we're done, we have cold coffee.
Okay, now it tastes sweet. Ooh, yeah. It's freaking hot. In goes ice. I kind of want my ice too, because I'm so hot. Excuse me, Biscuit. Wanna say hi, Biscuit? Wanna say hi? Ooh, I smell the yummy coffee. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, wow. This one's a bit shallow. I guess I'll just do all of it. Oh, it's pretty though. Oh, it's like sinking to the bottom. We're losing our aesthetic shot. Hurry, cocoa powder. Oh, they're more like cocoa lumps. Should we try the cold? You try the cold one. Yeah, the cold one's pretty. I mean, it's pretty. I, I don't think I can drink mine hot. That's true. I can drink. How am I going to drink this? I'm just going to be drinking the egg. I'm going to mix mine. Ooh. I kind of want to cook the egg yolk just in case it gets sick. Zenzon's cold, so you know what she no. If she gets sick, I know why. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. It actually kinda... doesn't taste like egg. It doesn't taste like egg at all. I'm surprised. I just inhaled the cocoa powder. <coughs> I have an egg moustache. Mmm. Mmm. I like a cold. Yeah. Should we make it? You can get Alfred to try it. Oops. Who is that guy? Alfred! Is he alive? Alf, are you alive? He got zapped. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a little bit of light here. This light bulb has been out for the longest time, and I told him, can we replace it? Because my videos look a bit dark. So he went out, replaced it, and uh, yeah, he got zapped like three times. So I need to check if he's alive. Are you alive, Alfred? Fine. I like it mixed. It's more creamy than the usual cafe soda, like the, the normal condensed milk one. And I guess because it has that foam, usually Vietnamese coffee, we don't have that foam on top. It's usually <laughs> the condensed milk is at the bottom. So you drip the coffee and then it kind of just melts and dissolves the condensed milk at the bottom. So this one's like a bougie version. I like it. Very good, very good. Alfred's waiting for yeah, me to just keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. I know what I'm gonna give this one. Okay. Not being biased <laughs> or anything. Okay. What are we rating the cafe? I'm gonna give it a double, double thumbs. Ooh. A different double thumbs to look like a the Sorry, different. The best, um, mm. As a Vietnamese wife, I'm very proud. <laughs> That's my badge of honor right I'll there. I'll give it one thumb. One thumb. What? No, because it's Zen doesn't like sweet. Yeah, I don't like Zen. sweet coffee. Zen, what are you, what, um, say your order in Vietnamese. Remember I told you? No. <laughs> Cafe Deng. Cafe Deng. Không được. Không được. Không được. No Không sugar. Đừng. Black coffee, no sugar. Cafe Deng. <laughs> Không được. Cafe Deng. Không được. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Give me a pass. One thumb for effort. <laughs> Share this. We can share it since Alfred stole mine. It's nice with the cocoa though. Okay, it's like a. It's like a bougie mocha. Yeah. Mm. Me like it. If you guys love street food, I'm sure you'll like this one. This is how to make Vietnamese street food stir fry corn, aka bắp sao. Use Vietnamese margarine. Break your corn in half. Use a pair of scissors and pierce through the middle. Turn it over and pierce it again. If you can poke a hole through the entire corn it will automatically break in half. From here, grab a knife and slowly slice your corn. Bắp sao is so simple. Just follow every step on the screen. You cannot mess this up. It's always a big flex to make this for your Vietnamese in-laws. And I am all about getting you in. I made this for Hami's parents and they said they loved it. Now I called them bad man instead of go to. And we're done. All right, let's tackle this street corn. He had a very interesting way of cutting the corn. Let's just follow it. First, need to break it in half. First, we need to break it in half. <laughs> First, we need to break it in half. That's the way I could do this when it's cooked. Oh, oh man, you're so strong. Oh, well, it's not half though. Oh, Ish. go again. Dude, I am it's so easy. <laughs> what? Damn, okay. This is where I'm like, mm. he gets a pair of scissors pokes a hole in the bottom of it. Oh, you poke your hole through the entire corn, it will automatically break it. How out. strong is your finger? Because it's hurting my finger. This is not an efficient way to do it, guys. <laughs> what? My finger doesn't fit in this hole. I never thought I'd be poking my finger in this corn. <laughs> this is really bizarre, guys. I've never seen anyone cut corn like <laughs> What kind of finger does he have? Like, <laughs> like, is that his 
got the wig. Can What's... you put a smiley face on my fingers then? It's like Hello. the Simpson. I'm Marge Simpson. I'm yellow Marge Simpson. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna cut it. This is too hard. That was fail. Not the prettiest kernels, but. So in goes my butter. Then I'm gonna add in my corn. I'm gonna cover it for three minutes. It smells like buttery popcorn, man. Now he added in dried shrimp. I had dried shrimp at home, but the problem is this one has chili in it and it says strong hot, very strong hot. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of this because this is deadly. Oh, it's- Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it smells so good. Definitely have some color on this. I'm just gonna sprinkle like a little bit only. So sugar. Vietnamese margarine. Oh, I don't have Vietnamese margarine. We had butter. It's it and should butter. taste good. It smells good. Add cheese in the laughing cow cheese. Scallions. A bit more. You know, we like a bit of green. Tell you what, it smells delicious. Let's hope it tastes good. We have Bap Sao. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think we should use I more of this. I couldn't taste any. Yeah, I couldn't taste it because I was being a wimp of the shrimp. Mm. Mm -mm. Better. Better. I definitely added too much butter, but the flavor is actually quite nice. It's very savory. It's got a little bit of that sweetness from the corn itself and the sugar. You can definitely add more sugar if you're a sweet tooth. <coughs> the spice. <coughs> Oh my god, his one didn't have chili in it. So this this version is definitely an adult version. Do not make it for your kids. It's too yeah. spicy. This is more Mexican than Vietnamese. To me. Really? Uh, I've never tried Vietnamese street corn, so I don't know. I've seen it. I haven't tried it myself either. But I would like it with more cheese. More cheese, yeah. Cheese fiend. You're right. We are, we were missing cheese powder. Mm. I couldn't find cheese powder anyway. I think if you added more cheese, yes, I think that would be. But you know what? It's not bad for like our first try and the ingredients we had lying around. What are we gonna rate it, guys? You're gonna give double, double. thumb. Yeah, it's good. I would give it a one though. I would give it, I'd give it a one. I'm just surprised after we went double thumbs. I think it's really good, but I can't eat that by itself. Mm. Oh my god, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm like a one and a half thumbs. Mm. One and a half thumbs. I'm so excited to try Vietnamese pizza. Welcome to another op episode of Tina Tries to Open a Jar with her hand with no hacks. Ooh! I did it. So proud. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad and Vicky and Lila. Oh, and Alf. Not guy. Alfred, don't worry. I forgot about him and Alfred. <laughs> For the Vietnamese pizza, which is not really a pizza, I feel like it's more like closer to a quesadilla. We need bun jang. I read that you turn the fire on later when you've got the toppings on. For the chili oil, we're using lao gan ma. Is that how you say it then? Lao gan ma. Lao gan ma. Pop it on and then spread it. Cracking on. Ah yeah, it's running away. No, no. Mix, 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 mix. Come back. With this recipe, you need to work fast. So you wanna have all your ingredients ready, not like me, don't be like me. I've never had this, I've just seen a lot of TikToks of this, so I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's kind it should of... be done. Okay. Maybe we do it fast. Okay. Well, maybe we should do it with the heat on. We're making another one with the egg whites that we use for the coffee. So we're gonna make like a healthier one. Okay, wait, let's pan this. I put this down, oil, egg white, and then I will Let it cook. This one we're adding cheese. I've seen people add cheese, ham, sausage, whatever, because it's a pizza. Yay, cheese! <laughs> Put the tu 
xương ớt tỏi and the mayonnaise 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 flip it oh this one's crunchy yeah. this one's this one is crispy okay now it's not as crispy when i cut it Ooh, combo pizza this is like a half and half yeah Wow! Wow! It's a pizza! Pizza! Let's go with the original OG one. Everyone grab a slice. Vinny means pizza. <laughs> it's like a little pizza slice. Yum! Wow! Instant, instant yumminess. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. Why haven't I tried this earlier? I'm mad at myself. It tastes wow. so much better than what the ingredients are. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay, that was the original one. Let's try the one that we kind of added like extra things to it. Hot. This is egg white only, but with cheese. Oh. It's so hot. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. Oh, okay, ready? Whatever. Oh wow, with cheese. Wow. With cheese, even with better. Cheese. Imagine if we added ham. And little sausages. Guys, you can literally make this recipe your own and it's so quick and easy. Wow, with cheese? Wow. 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 It's so hot. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. 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 Wow. Um, Dora, I can whip you up some more. It's like really <laughs> easy. I was like, that's it. Very sad that it's only one slice each. Relax, husband. I got you. Mm. Vietnamese wife got you. Making more pizza. This one blows my mind. Instantly, I'm so <coughs> glad we ended it on a high. I mean, the whole video has been a high, but it's this highest. one is like <laughs> the peak of the mountain. We were like going higher and higher, and now we're like at the top. No, this one's in the clouds. Oh, in the clouds. Mm. 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 So double thumbs, right? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Double thumbs. Wow, this one. You guys have to try this one. Though. I feel like we need to do a part two because there are so many good recipes out there. I mean, they look delicious. I don't know if they're good, but you know, if you want to see part two, let me know. And we're open to trying other cuisines as well. Mm. Around the world. Around the world. Oh. Around the world. TikTok recipes around the world. Watch us as we voyage in search of the best recipes. What are we doing? I'm a plane. You're a plane? I've got binoculars. <laughs> the Three Stooges. The Vietnamese pizza, guys, it's bomb. We are rating it. Hands down, it's double thumbs up. Wow, we are so good. We're like our choreographer. Dancers, man. <laughs> oh, that was a... Guys, we've come to the end of this video. I feel like all the recipes have been a big hit, but the last one, mm. it just hits the spot. It just fills the soul. It's just so quick and easy to make, and it's just mind-blowing. The best. It's the best. If you guys want to see part two of Vietnamese recipes or another cuisine, let us know below. And what are we gonna do? What's our thumb? We haven't, we haven't, wait, huddle, huddle, huddle. What are we doing? What are we doing? Don't forget to thumb. 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 <laughs> this video. <laughs> yes, don't forget to thumb this video. You know, if you love us. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already, and we shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Alfie, did you just grab that pizza? Like, Bye. what a sneaky guy. <laughs> You're so sneaky. Bye. Bye. Do you want another one, Alfred? I'll make another one. Do you watch how easy it is? Actually, you yeah, learn how to make it. Wait, we have to do teamwork. Wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing again? Ready? Okay, got yeah. it. Go. Oh, grab, grab the cheese, grab the cheese. I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder. Very impressive. Then if you find a husband, this this will win him over. A boyfriend, I mean. This will turn I'm your boyfriend into a husband. Anybody out there? <laughs> date me now. <laughs> date me now. <laughs> date me now and I'll flip pancakes and pizzas for you. Dude, this is so easy to make. I'm gonna make it all the time. Give me for breakfast. This is so good. I could probably eat like three of those. This is like Wow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but can't but just my face. Wow. Yeah.